Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Benny Childs, founder of the Teach Me to Fish Effects uh, community. Uh, I also go by the 4X Pastor. Uh, hey, I'm coming to you today because I want to show you uh, what I perceive to be the most simplest uh, Forex strategy there is. Uh, now, I myself call this strategy the 50-50 strategy. All right. And uh, I I like to liken Forex uh, or trading Forex uh, to the lottery. Uh, the reason why I say that is because um, Forex is not guaranteed. OK. All right. There are no guarantees uh, in Forex, just like the lottery. And so you're kind of uh, you're making a gamble. However, the difference between Forex and uh, the lottery or gambling is you're making uh, well, you have the capability of making uh, an educated uh, guess uh, that can 90 percent of the time go in your favor. Um, now, those uh, 90 percent um, uh, win rate strategies, um, they uh they're, they're, they're a little bit uh, more sophisticated, uh, but anyone can anyone can learn them. Anyone can learn them. Listen, if I if I can learn them, uh, you can learn them. Uh, but this video is for those individuals who are uh, fresh in Forex and uh, you're looking to uh, start making uh, profit uh, now. <laughs> so I want to show you this and I call this the 50 the 50 50 strategy. All right. And um, I will I, I, I give honor where honor is due. I want to pay homage uh, to uh, uh, my man, one of my mentors in this Forex game, Mr. Yusuf Scott, founder of the Sodar Easy Forex uh, movement. And uh, I ran across uh, his video and uh, he titles this his always win strategy. So big shout out uh, to Mr. Yusuf Scott. Uh, but. Again, I call this the 50 50. I call it the 50 50 strategy. And I want to go in a little bit a little bit more in depth with you guys to show you uh, how to do this. Now, simply um, what you're going to do is what I recommend doing first is uh, at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, go to your terminal. All right. 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, go to your terminal and um, the market uh, resets or it starts over or it opens back up at 5 p.m. Um, Sunday through Friday, all right, Eastern Standard Time. Well, really on Sunday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but um, Monday Monday through Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard, uh, well, Monday through Thursday, excuse me, uh, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, the market opens back up. Uh, Fridays, uh, it, it closes at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and on Sundays, it opens back up at 5.30 um, Eastern Standard Time. Um, so you're going to go to your terminal, uh, Monday through Thursday. Okay. At 5 PM Eastern standard time. And what you're going to do is you're going to come over here and you're going to set your lot size to the smallest lot size possible. And that is the 10 cent lot size. All right. And once you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to click sell. And then immediately after that, you're going to click buy. All right. You're going to click sell and you're going to click buy. And what that's going to do is that is going to open up a uh, sell order. And then it's going to also open up. Change this color. It's going to also open up a buy order for you. So now you have two orders open at 10 cent each. OK. And so right now the market, uh, it will be going. Uh, in between these two orders. All right. So uh, you'll be sitting at uh, a negative amount, uh, you know, um, based on the spread. Uh, and I recommend doing this if you just start out. I recommend doing this with the G GBP USD pair. The reason why I recommend going with this is because it is the most volatile pair with the lowest pips. Uh, spread okay and that's a three pip spread and so that's why I recommend doing doing this with GBP USD you can do this with any pair but 
uh, I, again, I choose to do, I, I say do it with this pair because it has the lowest pip spread and it is the most volatile out of the pairs with the, the lowest pip spread. And so uh, basically, you're going to have these two 10 cent uh, orders open. Okay. And you're basically, <clears throat> excuse me. You're basically doing this because you don't know which way the market is going to go. You don't know if the market is going to go up. You don't know if the market is going to go down. So therefore, you just prepare yourself by putting in two uh, two trade orders at ten cent. Now, um, what you're going to do is is once the market starts going in the favor of one of these two orders, you're going to place another order at your desired lot size <clears throat> and excuse me <clears throat> and um, you want to make sure that you're practicing proper risk management okay all right so uh, what I recommend doing is waiting for the market to go uh, anywhere between 25 to 50 pips uh, in the favor of one of these two uh, one of these two uh, orders and the reason why I say that is because typically um, the market will go in one direction 25 to 50 pips before it'll, it'll turn around uh, so I highly recommend just waiting for it to go past 50 pips or 51 pips you know waiting for it to go past uh, 50 pips before you put in um, your your final or your true order all right and uh, that's just that's just part of being patient. OK. And that's just just a part of making sure uh, that, uh, you know, you're 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 going to be in the money for a while. Uh, once the again, once the market goes uh, in the favor of one of these two uh, orders, uh, 50 pips, then you want to put in your real order. So uh, let's say the market um, it, it, it it turns around. Uh, here, let's uh, let's just I'll I'll just back it up here. Give me one second. Let's just uh, let's just say that we came uh, we came at uh, came in at uh, 5 p.m. on this day, and we put in we put in our sell, and then we put in our buy here. All right. Uh, now we see that the market. Uh, on this day it kind of was going in favor it would have been going in favor uh, for your sell order all right and then it quickly turned around and it started going in favor of the buy order and so let's say if we would have waited if you'd have waited 50 pips all right so you'd have waited at this point right here here's the 50 pips yeah. there you go if you'd have waited to this point right here and then put in uh, put in your buy order at your higher desired lot size, you're looking at a gain of possibly 278 pips. All right, and let's say if you were trading at uh, a one dollar lot lot size. So that would have been a 207, 278, uh, $278 uh, win for you. All right. Let's say if you were going at a standard, which is $10. All right. That would have been, uh, what, over $2,700. Okay. And all you simply did was at 5 p.m., you came in and you put in a sell and you put in a, a buy order waiting to see which way the market was going to go. Uh, you waited for the market to go 25 to 50 pips in the favor of one of these markets. All right. And you gain uh, 278. All right. And so um, what's going to happen is, is you're only going to be out of the money based on the difference of these two uh, of these two orders. And so that's why we put them in at, uh, at the lowest lot size possible, possible, which is 10 cent. And so you're looking 10 cent plus the spread. So. Uh, you're looking at that 10 cent plus the spread, which is 13 cent times 35, 35 times 0. 13. 
you're looking at uh, you're out four dollars and fifty five cents. <laughs> All right. And so we were at what? Twenty seven eighty minus four fifty five. So you're looking at a two thousand seven hundred seventy five dollar forty five cent profit. All right. So I again, I call I call this the 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 the, the 50 50 uh, uh, Forex strategy. Uh, again, it was it, it was introduced to me through uh, Yusuf Scott. He calls this his always win strategy because you you will always you will always win during the strategy. Now, if you don't want to give up the four dollars and fifty five cent, uh, I encourage you to learn uh, some more. Um, you can call it sophisticated strategies, but they're you know they're not that difficult to learn all right forex is not hard i'll tell anyone forex is not hard it's just like with anything else you just have to get used to it you just have to be patient and uh be patient with yourself number one because many people will get in the forex market and you have these high expectations um but it's it's just like going to school you know you spend uh anywhere between two two to four years you know in college uh, learning a, uh, a a trade, learning a, a, an industry. All right, and so you know when you you're six months in, you know you can't necessarily be expecting um, to you know to be a millionaire. Now you can, you know if you if you're able to invest into some of the higher programs out there, um, but uh, a lot of which I will tell you you can find on YouTube. Um, but uh, again, guys, I hope that this has been an encouragement to, to, to any and everybody uh, who's looking to get into in the forex market, who's looking to open up another stream of income. Uh, I hope that uh, this video uh, was clear and, and, and concise. And just in case if it wasn't, I just want to go over again what it is that you're going to do at 5 p.m. You're going to go to your terminal. All right. You're going to set your lot size at the lowest lot size possible, which is 10 cent. You're going to put in right after one another. You're going to put in a, a sell and a buy order. All right. And then you're going to wait for the market to go in favor of one of those orders. At least 50 pips is what I recommend. That's just my rec uh, recommendation. All right. And uh, once that market uh, goes in that favor, then you're going to come over here and use proper risk management and you're going to put in um the the higher lot size and then you're going to allow that uh to ride up now if you're interested in knowing um uh, how long you should allow it to ride or uh, what signals to look for uh, so that you'll know how to you know how and when to to get out of the market and take your money um i i strongly recommend my community the teach me the fish effects community uh, where um, I not only have uh, instructional uh, videos for you guys to watch and go through, but I actually coach you on a uh, week to week basis. And then I also offer uh, one on one uh, meetings with you guys where I will answer any questions you have, uh, trade with you. I trade live with my group. Um, but again, I just I just want to give back and I just want. Uh, individuals to know that um, there there's a way out <laughs> there's a way out there's a way out it may be an individual who uh, you're scratching your head trying to figure out you know where uh, you can um, uh, make gains at and make some investments and I say invest in yourself and the forex market is a, uh, a really good good tool uh, to use to invest in yourself and generate uh, what I like to call generational wealth all right. All right, guys. So, again, uh, I pray that this video has been simple enough, uh, 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 comprehensive enough <laughs> and, you know, straight to the point. Uh, feel free uh, to leave your comments. Feel free to interact with the video. Uh, let me know, uh, you know, just let me know how you feel about it. Do you think this is something that, that you can do? Um, do you uh, feel like um, I could have explained it better? And if so, I'll come back and I'll explain it the best I can. All right, guys, as always, until next time, happy pup fishing. And if you stay in God, you will stay in control. Be blessed.